Mr. 72 here back for another T3 Thursday's tactical tip. So today I want to talk to you about a way that we can train and we can improve our shot groups, we can tighten those up and improve our marksmanship. So what I'm talking about is natural point of aim. Natural point of aim is where you're most comfortable, where your body is most comfortable to bring sights into alignment, everything into alignment on the target in such a natural way that those tiny muscles in our hand and our shoulders, everything is more relaxed and this will allow us to have better shot groups. If you're outside of a range environment, you need to make sure that you're safe. Me personally, I like to clear my weapon and then, you know, double check. Make sure there's no live ammunition anywhere nearby. You need to pick a target. Pick something that you can aim at fairly precisely. It could be a target. You could put a target up and, and aim at that, or, but it doesn't have to be necessarily. Get into a natural position where you think your natural point of aim, where it's gonna be the most comfortable. Aim your rifle at the target and Try to aim as precisely as possible and hold this position. At this point, close your eyes and drop the rifle to a low ready position. Try to relax, loosen the tension in your shoulders. Take a couple of deep breaths and with your eyes still closed and raise the rifle up to where you believe you're on target and open your eyes. Where are your sights right now? Are you on target? Is this where you want to be? If it's not exactly where you want it to be, if you're not on target, you need to shift. And this is where you need to actually shift your stance. You may have to do this a couple of times to get to where you are right on target. Now I know what you're thinking. How am I gonna do this in the heat of battle? If somebody is shooting at me, how am I gonna get there? Well, you know what? You can't do this shift and adjust and shift and adjust. You're right. But if you practice with this and you get really good at this, you'll be able to get into a position that is really close to having a great natural point of aim without really much effort. Now, how do we do this with a pistol? With a pistol, it's a lot less effective, and that's because there's more variables involved. For one, our grip needs to be very consistent when we draw from a holster. This is, again, something that we need to practice and we need to get used to. Now, another thing that will affect this is the handgun itself. If it's a handgun we're not used to, take, for instance, me with a Glock. The grip angle of a Glock is very unusual to me. So a natural point of aim where I feel comfortable, the handgun is pointed at the sky. If we train repeatedly until we feel comfortable with this, until we have that conditioned response, there won't be any problem. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and share it, and don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the bullet. And until next time, take care and be safe.